a warm namaste and a big hello to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there welcome to my channel and let's get into this reading this collective reading here i'm going to be talking about the divine masculine energy uh, what's really happening over there collectively and which is like the intense energy for this one for this reading and i would be using my cards my cards tarot cards and of course intuitive reading so let's dive deep into this okay okay so the first thing that i'm being shown is this is the card okay this is the first one but it's very interesting right in the first go some of them are actually some of you uh this could apply that the masculine is kind of preparing for connecting with you and i think it could be multiple reasons it could be their financial state maybe they don't have that much money right now or it could be possible that they see you much more accomplished or maybe they assume that you're much more accomplished you earn much more than them or you're doing much better than them so there are two three things that are actually popping out that either they could be having this feeling that it would be a uh, downright rejection from your side uh, or they they are just fearing about it i think they know that you do like them maybe they have like a 60% it's like 40 60 60% they are positive about it because they do see you in their future plans like it's in the window you can see them both having a conversation and doing great things together but at this point in time this person is fearful about the 40% negativity or the 40% fear that they feel they probably feel inadequate right now they feel that they are not good enough for you and they should become good enough but there is also a fear so some of them have actually surrendered to that uh, that feeling right now like there's a fear that they might not get you and they will probably even lose whatever they have with you they don't want to make it that obvious they, they don't want to make it uh, even though it's very obvious that they have like big feelings for you but they still don't want to put it out verbally and still i mean they are working towards it they are working on this they want to make it a reality they want you by their side they have already visualized it they some of them could also be dreaming about you like this could be a state of dreaming about someone you know like resting relaxing but uh, sort of softly imagining it's not like a proper dream also but they're just building up a dream like sometimes it happens when we are experiencing or watching a beautiful dream like we are in a beautiful dream and we wake up and then we want to go back to sleep but we try to stretch that dream out like the dream is so pretty and so enchanting that we want to continue with the dream sometimes people do that right so they just start imagining the story or they take the story forward in their own way so definitely they are uh, meditating they are relaxing but it's a positive sign okay uh, some of them they may not have that kind of strength right now they are building on to the strength they are trying to develop the courage and the strength to actually speak to you and share this with you like one on one personally and uh, they want to surrender to the feminine like the masculine wants to surrender fully to the feminine like they are extremely in awe of this person like they they are 100% sure that this is who i want and this is who i want to be with like they want to they don't want to care about anything else like anything societal they don't care about it what they are worried about is something that could go wrong between you and them i think it's also because they have found a strong footing like maybe 
all this while they were struggling for something maybe last one year was very tough for them or before that they witnessed some tough times and they put in a lot of energy they put in a lot of effort and they they worked through it they were very brave and courageous so just when you put one foot forward and you set it you know like you you got a footing you place a footing they feel that you have come in at that time so they are still trying to you know keep their both feet on the ground and they are also kind of waiting for destiny to show them some kind of a sign uh, i do sense that they they want to get a sign in the sense like if it is the real thing if it is the actual thing they want to get a sign like that although they are very positive about you but they want some help they want some help from the universe they are probably even some of them could have already asked for help this person is kind of also in this way like in this zone you know like nine of wands maybe in their own life a uh, work wise or some other way they feel that they were injured or they were wounded and you know when something very beautiful or someone very beautiful something beautiful happens or someone beautiful enters a person's life but they were not expecting it they were so wounded or they were just nursing their wounds for some some of you this would apply okay that they were just nursing their wounds and then you came along and now they are like still in probably bandages they're still not fully healed and they see you you might also be an inspiration for them at this this point in time maybe god universe actually sent you to them so that they can get inspiration and they can just shake uh, the dirt off their clothes and get up a bit faster because you know love always arises these type of feelings um uh, it's for someone it could be the past heartbreaks like their past relationship was really really bad one and they felt that the person who they were involved with took away a lot from them like with you they feel that you have a lot more to offer and on the table and they don't have that much like they're not an equal match so they don't want it to be a situation in the future for you to think that god forbid they feel they don't want you to feel like they are taking away a lot from you they want to be an equal partner or they actually want to be more cuz i do sense this person is very caring this person is extremely caring very loving this person is going to pamper you you know this person is going to pamper you a lot i have this feeling they already like they take care of everyone around them and they already like you a lot you are like a very beautiful person for them they find you to be very intelligent very intuitive highly intuitive uh they have never met someone like you before is what i'm sensing so when you are with this person they're going to really pamper you and take care of you but for now they are kind of uh it's probably like preparation for them you know they are in preparation stage oh yes they are in preparation stage maybe they have already uh, tried to talk to you or you know how some people just give some hints they probably gave you some hints or they uh, as i said for some people it could be they're waiting for a sign and they feel that they have put in a lot of work not into your relationship but in the past they have put in a lot of work on themselves so this is definitely a very aware person it's an aware person it's a very confident person also i i'm being shown but they have put in a lot of work into either their goals their career goals or whatever it is is it that they love doing plus they have uh, put in effort in building themselves up as a better person so they feel that if they are not getting that uh, you know that push 
or they are not feeling that confident in your case they are actually questioning have i even done anything yet it's not showing up i'm not confident i'm not like able to handle this that well they are not able to handle the situation they have with you well enough and they do realize it they do feel like bad about it plus uh, there are some illusions also that are stopping them and these are materialistic illusions for some of you they are probably preparing for the right offer and the right time like they are 100% sure it's going to be you and it's you they want they don't care about anything any other difference you know money or status or age for some people or maybe caste i don't know if it happens in different parts of the world but it's definitely social status has been shown to me it could be possible that this person is like really like uh, materialistically very strong and maybe you're not or it could be the opposite uh, of it or maybe they are not like uh, making like direct big money or it could be possible that you are probably a lot more accomplished than them whatever it is that they are imagining in their life it's going to go away very soon they're going to get that motivation they're going to get that hope they're going to get that strength courage all of it and they are also going to uh first i think all of this will happen but before that they might have a fear of losing you for some time they will feel a bit panicky a bit nervous they might not be able to sleep for some time properly because they're going to feel that they've lost you they've lost the opportunity they've lost the time they've lost the window of opportunity because that window is closed now they they're going to feel like that also and then they will work on themselves get into a bit of authority and i think they're going to also because i'm being shown a lot of feminine energy here like queen of cups nine of pentacles and queen of pentacles like and they are two cards are pentacles when i ask about and th- these are all feminine cards so i have a very strong feeling that they need to heal their feminine energy also for some of you it could be related to maybe past relationship or mother energy is not healed maybe they have some kind of wounded feeling from with their own mother or sister or in general just feminine energy uh they are almost at the finish line i i would say they're almost there uh they're gonna some of for some of you they're gonna reach out like any time like any minute they can reach out for some of you it's really interesting this hash popped up it could be possible that they see you like uh, as if you are kind of flirtatious person or you are like a heartbreaker or you are like somebody they feel that you could be a bit over friendly or you could be having a lot of men around you like you are probably getting a lot of attention from other people so they feel like uh they know it's not true they know it's not true but they get that vibe in some cases like they get that feeling that is this person going to be like this like sometimes people have like crazy doubts it's one of those doubt okay and um, and in some cases they have actually thought about children marriage they have thought about a lot of things with you like they feel like they want to live a life with you i know it sounds a bit far fetched for some of you i know for some of you it's like oh my god are you serious if this is the case then why is in this person you know showing up in this way or that way i think that's because they are they are going to the cards are telling me they are going to uh disclose their feelings but they don't know uh that if they are going to be really the right person for you so this person actually cares about you so much they love you in a way that they don't want to they don't want to disappoint you understand they don't want to disappoint you 
they feel that you already are doing like really amazing things in life whatever it is that you're doing career wise or personal life i mean for some of you it could be possible that you have children like you are you have your own kids already like you're divorced or you're a single parent so they don't want to like enter in your life show you some nice stuff expectations this that and then they don't want it to end into a fling okay they want to be a responsible person and they know everything about you they know your story they know you uh, pretty well they probably have known you for a while in some cases so they don't want to you know create that pain in your life again maybe or when they look at children this is a responsible man so when they look at children they go like if the children meet me and we start hanging out because i'm going to definitely do that and if we don't click if things don't work out the children going to be very disappointed and uh, they don't want to take that burden i know it's far fetched i told you beforehand but some of them are actually thinking on those lines so maybe you have to be a bit patient with this person you have to just relax and let it go if in case you are in a hurry then you need to like also let it go uh this person feels that your energy is good for them like your energy is very healing soothing protective calming as much as this person is protective they get the same vibe from you like you're a very very protective person very responsible person and they feel that if you both get into something uh you can't re really turn around and say that i'm not going to do this like once you do it that's it there is no looking back there is no going back there is no no fun like not fun in a good way but like how some people just do hanky panky stuff with people they know that it can't be that with you in your case it can't be that so they're also mentally preparing they're getting ready i think it's a very good thing if someone is thinking on all these lines because you should not ruin anybody's life if you enter someone's life and you want to be sure about it then it has to be like a permanent thing a long term thing if it's already in the heads of some people when they connect with someone they never have a long term plan some of them say oh yeah i just want to get to know this person and if we get along well then maybe you will think about it this person whose energy i'm picking on like right now in fact all these different scenarios whoever is representing they are not the types who are going to say oh yeah i want to get to know this person and then let's see this is like a very committed person if they commit to someone that's it they will commit to that person and they will not want that person to back out or they will not want themselves to back out so it's like do or die kind of a thing either you do it or you don't do it at all so definitely i do sense this person needs a bit of time and they need a bit of introspection and once they are 100% clear in that department then they will you know come in front because they are actually looking at you uh, as someone very special and important in their life someone who really matters to them and someone they want to flaunt around also some of them actually feel like they want to flaunt you around uh, but they feel maybe that their environment their ambience their lifestyle may not be a match to yours and you probably would have to compromise a bit maybe a little bit more and maybe you will out of love but they don't want you to do so they don't want you to compromise for anything okay they just want you to be happy with them and look forward to every single day look forward to everything together the good times the bad times and uh, they want you to be a part of their life for sure but as i just said i'll repeat myself again they they need some time i sense that very strongly which is i think very genuine time this is more like uh this is natural this is organic if someone just you know just blurts it out to you and just says it out to you that's not like good right they they want to make you feel respected 
I do sense a bit of sexual energy also here and in some of the cases that could be a stopping thing like that could be because if it's a good man had it been a distorted masculine or a karmic relationship they would have jumped into it they would have said oh yeah let's do it I'm going to use this attraction you know I'm going to use this uh, sexual thing to get this person's attention but this is a person like with secret masculine kind of energy so they are not gonna sleep around for the heck of it with anyone forget about you even otherwise also they don't want to do that they're not like that okay they're not built that way but they do sense a lot of uh, tempting energy from your side or they feel that if they are gonna get close to you they're gonna lose control and I mean they're not gonna pounce on you <laughs> not that way but they might just lose control or they just feel that with you it's gonna be like a lot of fire they they sense a sensual vibe they also sense attraction so i think this person is a very smart person it's a very wise person most probably this person is also waiting for it to uh, fizzle out a bit because they know that time is also a factor like if they don't focus on it too much the attraction part it's gonna go down a bit but if they jump in right now it's gonna get like aggravated and they don't want to get into a relationship with you or into anything with you based on this this is the one thing they don't want it to be based on they want it to be like a very pure relationship I mean it's okay to be intimate you know it's it's natural to be intimate with someone you like a lot or you love but that intimacy has to come from not lust but it has to come from love okay so I think this is also a reason uh, one of the important reasons that this person is not jumping in right away like they're gonna take some time and they're gonna want to release all this tension nervousness anxiety uh, away and they want it to be like an organic natural thing like it happens on its own and when it happens it just happens you know like they're not gonna stop it at that point in time so this is pretty much what I'm able to gauge right now for this session you can get into a personal session with me. The details are given in the description box. You can email me the sunamoon at gmail.com. And uh, if you're from India though, you have to write to me an email first because then only I can give you my Paytm or GPay details. For anybody else, PayPal works fine. Like that's the right way to go. One love, peace out, and I will see you in another one. Jai Shri Ram.